all in. Toby is the only one getting treats right now. Toby, sit. No, sit. You guys need to back up. First we'll work on ignore the hand. First we'll work on not being pushy. Good boy. That was very good. Sit. Good boy. See, the, so the tricky part is now he stands up as soon as I click. But he's figured out quickly to sit down. Sit. Good boy. So this is our first training session. Actually, that's not true. We did one. Good boy. A while ago, whoops, uh, like three weeks ago maybe, but this is the first one since then and I'm going to do it daily for about 10 minutes. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're getting so much better already. has teeth on the bottom of his mouth, and even some of them are missing. Um, he has only canines on the top, I guess. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. So I have my treats in one hand, I have my clicker in the other hand, and I have it in here so I can just easily click it with my thumb. And I try to lure him with this hand because it's got the smell in it of the treats that he wants. Sit. But then I always take it with this hand and give it to him. So that he doesn't think that getting into this hand is what will be the 
um, what will lead to success in getting his treat. He follows the smell, but doesn't expect to get food from this hand. Sit. Good boy. Stay there. So what I don't know is how to get him to stay seated after I've said, after I've clicked. So I guess the key is to click a couple times, maybe? Or to not give him the treat right away? I'm not exactly sure. Good boy. Yeah, that was good. That time I just waited for him to stay a little bit longer. Of course, now he's dropped a bunch of crumbs. The treats I'm using, by the way, are crumbled Cheez-Its. Uh, because at one point I gave him cheese, which was very motivating for him, but it also made him throw up. Um, so this, I figure, is that same flavor, but not quite as much content. And it's small amounts, so it's not going to fill him up the way high-calorie dog treat would. Good boy! So I'm just trying to catch the desired behavior, which is him sitting his bottom on the ground. And whenever he does that, sit. He knows what it means now. He's figured out what it is that I want him to do on that cue. Oh, that time he did it without even the cue, which I, maybe I, I don't know. Still with desired behavior. Since it's this session, we'll, we'll still reward him for that for now. And he's still sitting, which is good. There are treats around. He's learned that his butt on the ground is a good thing. Sit. Toby. Good boy. Oh, yeah. You sat down, too. That's good. That's a bonus. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're so good. Good boy. So hopefully one thing he's learning here is that when I have something to eat in my hands, getting up in my lap and shoving his face into my food will not help him get what, he, what I have. That is something I really want to reinforce. Toby, sit. Good boy. One more. one.